Hello, my name is Tyler Hurst. Welcome to Trauma Warriors Yoga for November 1st. Um, today's playlist is a series of favorites uh, of mine that I really like that make me feel, I don't know, good, happy, relieved. So we're going to start the playlist. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to um, do it separately because I don't want YouTube to turn off this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the playlist is on Apple Music or Spotify. It's a November 1st Trauma Release pl uh, Yoga Playlist by Tyler Hurst for Urban Yoga. And we're going to, there's a three minute intro, so we're going to press play in just a little bit so we can uh, all be on the same page. So let's go ahead and pr uh, find that playlist. Go ahead and pause this. I'm going to come back and I'll count down three, two, one, play. All right, so done. Now we're back. Three, two, one, play. Uh, if you don't have your mat set up, now's a good time to do it. Let's go ahead and prepare our space. If we have anything stuck anywhere or sticking out, or we just want to just just clear up some clear up some clear up some things. All right, get rid of some clutter. Uh, definitely leave your humidifier on if you have it. And we're going to find our mat for uh, props. We're going to ideally have four blankets and two bolsters, but you can do all of this with blankets. So I'm going to grab the blankets out of here, out of my closet, and I'm going to grab one, two, one, two, and then three and four. And that will be enough for what we're doing. Any blanket will work. Any sort of pillow will work. Uh, please don't think that you need something special. You don't need yoga blankets. You don't need yoga pillows. Just need something that be able to soft and be able to push you, uh, keep you off the ground is all. Uh, I'm going to move my meditation mat right over here. I might use that later. I like to sit on it when I teach. So you see me using the meditation mat. Don't think you have to use it. Just keep it ready and we'll get it. So right now we are filming and I'm going to have my iPad over here so I can see everything because I can't see it from my watch like I do during regular class. So that's something that I'm learning uh, in real time how to do this. So I ask for your patience and I appreciate that you've already probably already given it to me if you're on this. Uh, this song, Solar Therapy, by... I don't know who it's by. Who is the song by? It's pretty good. Uh, I heard it at uh, Walter Warehouse, Walter Studio, sorry, in the bar waiting for the Poenge concert a little bit ago, and I've just really enjoyed it. So um, you're already set up. Let's just sit there and feel the vibe. We start to breathe a little bit. Okay. Maybe... You can do some deep belly breaths. I like breathing out through like a straw. <sighs> breathing in, ideally through my nose, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe breathe in through your mouth if you can't do through the nose. And you're going to fill your belly up, all right? You're going to fill your belly all the way up. And you're going to sigh out. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> Great, and just find a seat on your mat. We should start seated on these. Everybody ready? So find a seat, however that looks for you. And just sort of be prepared as we, um, as we get ready to go. A couple more minutes left on the song. Again, just feel it. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's sit up on your mat. Let's get ready to go. I like to sit on something, so if you want to sit on a, um, a blanket or a pillow, please do. So this, um, for the purpose, the definition, the purposes of this class, think of trauma as simply unexpressed emotion. That's all it is. It's emotion that you wanted to express, you wanted to feel, but you either suppressed it, pushed it down, or you didn't feel safe enough to. 
It can be from something as serious as a car crash or as simple as getting fired from a job or being ostracized by your peers or being made fun of or childhood stuff like emotional neglect, anything like that. Anything of where you wanted to feel and you either didn't feel safe enough or you couldn't, that's what trauma is in this students. Unexpressed emotion, that's it. And so our job is to uh, help people feel safe enough to express it. And usually that means, in some ways, and TRE method means getting real activated and screaming and shouting, and that works and that's great and I enjoy that. But for me, for a, for a weekly practice, I need so much downtime from that that it doesn't, uh, it's not something I do all the time. So this is a softer version of that. So I want you to everyone sit still and I want you to get comfortable as much as you can. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about what the most you, you version of you feels like, right? The most you, you, when you felt your most self. It may not necessarily be your best self. It may not be your worst self. It may not be your most successful self. It may not be your least successful self. It may not be your hottest self or your least hot self. Just when you felt like in your own element and you were happy and you were just happy to be you and you were stoked just to be you, what does that feel like? All right. What is, where in your body do you feel that? I want you to think of that. And I want you to imagine it as a ball of yellow energy in your solar plexus. So right here underneath your rib cage, right, right above your actual stomach. So right here in the middle, you're going to feel it right there. And I want to breathe out together. And I want to breathe in and fill up that space. And sigh and share that energy with all the room. Just bring it all the way up and out. So I'm going to breathe out again. We're going to breathe in through our bellies. And a big sigh out. Show oh. information. All right, let's go ahead and sit up. Right hand in our belly, left hand in our sacrum. Back nice and straight. Let's go and breathe out together. Deep belly breath in. And sigh. Oh. Left hand in our heart space, shoulders back and down. Just chin neck nice and tight. So go and breathe out together. Breathe in. And sigh. Oh. So every time when you breathe, I want you to think of this as a bellows, all right? We're using our stomach muscles to, to loosen and contract our diaphragm. And so we're just moving air in and out. So when we do the breathing exercises later, I want you to think of your like pumping air. <sighs> Not so much a breath work, which is more, <sighs> but really a pump air to get air moving through you. All right, so we're going to start class right now. We're going to start with the chakra affirmations. So it's a call and response. I'd love you for you to say it out loud. I'm going to say both of them so you can say whatever you want. So let's go ahead and start with chakra affirmation. We will start with, uh, there are seven of them. Repeat after me. Let's go ahead and breathe out together. Little deep, little breath in. I am. I am. I feel. I feel. I will. I will, I love, I love, I speak, I speak, I see, I see, I know, I know. Yeah, wait, I missed one. I see, I got, okay. I want you to keep sitting up. Get nice and comfortable, back nice and straight. We're going to bring our shoulders and back down. And we're going to do box breath. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds, or for about 60 seconds, so about four rounds. It's going to be inhale for four, hold for five, exhale for six. If you decide you don't want to do any of this, just try to make your exhales longer than your inhales. You're doing just fine. All right. So let's go ahead and breathe out. And inhale. Three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, three, Two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, 
Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Last round coming up. Inhale. Three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your regular breath. Give yourself three breaths, and I want you to start looking around your mat. I want you to take the blanket you're sitting on and bring it up to the top as a pillow. And take two blankets from your stack, fold them over the top of each other, and we're going to use this as a prop for our legs. So we're going to go ahead and bring this in here. And we're going to just lay down and get comfortable. Once you get down here, we're going to do the continuous breath. So this is the bellows breathing, is what I call it. So there's going to be no break between the inhale and the exhale. So it's going to sound a little bit like this. You go at your own pace. You can go slow. You can go fast. I wouldn't recommend too fast. Just think of it like a bellows. We're going to do this for 90 seconds. All right. If you get all tensed up, if you get uncomfortable, go ahead and stop, reset, and restart. All right, this is not breath work. We're not looking to get worked up. We're not looking to get all tense. We're just working on practicing moving breath through our body. So like on your mark, get set. I don't breathe with you. Go. We're about halfway through now. Just take note of your belly. Remember, big belly breaths. Really stick that belly out. Bring your belly button all the way to your spine. And exhale, really get that breath moving in and out. Almost done. Last two rounds of breath. Back to your regular breath. And just rest for a second. Do one round of breath together. So that's breathe out through a straw. Deep but soft belly breath in. And sigh. Oh. And try again. So we're gonna breathe out. Deep belly breath in. And sigh. Oh. Come back to your breath. Maybe you put one hand in your belly, one hand in your heart space. And just really let your body melt down. Write yourself a breath or three. And I want you to take the Blankets underneath your legs, you know, move them to the left side of your mat so they're accessible. So go ahead and sit up very slowly. Go ahead and move that. When you're finished, you can bend your knees, put your feet flat on the floor, 
Your hips are going to be about hip distance apart. Your, your knees are going to be about hip distance apart. There's about four inches, let's say, in between your knees. You're going to sway your knees from side to side, four inches only. So it's going to look like you're not doing anything. But you're just barely going from side to side, just like this. Just side to side. Not far enough windshield wipers so your muscles have to activate, or so your hips have to activate, but just side to side. If you're not feeling a little enough, unbend your legs, put your feet a little further away from you, and do the same thing. <sighs> so I don't always demo these classes, and uh, I gotta say that. Um, this is really relaxing. I uh, had, I mean, I knew because I've done these. But I didn't know, like, I'd be so out of it right away. Holy shit. So anyway, we're just over halfway through. Legs from side to side, just barely. If you don't feel, if you don't feel relaxed, do less. Activate as few muscles and tendons as possible. Move your legs from side to side. Go finish whatever side you didn't start on. And stretch your legs out. Oh. Stretch your arms out, maybe above your head if you want. Maybe the side. Maybe if you want some grounding, put your hands flat on the ground. If you want to receive, turn your hands up, palms up. You want to connect with yourself, either your hands and your pelvis, or one hand in your belly, one hand in your heart space, or wherever you want. Do one round of breath. Exhale out. Deep inhale. And sigh. Oh. Now for next one, we're going to be on our side. So I want you to take the blanket that's behind your head. You're going to turn to your side, and you're going to fold it in half. Right? It's going to be half, so it's going to be much more like a much more of a pillow. Okay, and you can take the other blankets and you can put those in between your legs from knees to ankles. Okay. Do it for about 30 seconds again, 60 seconds again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our bottom hand flat out. Alright, we're gonna take our top hand and we're gonna reach it up to the sky. We're gonna give ourselves one round of breath. Let's go ahead and do that together. Breath in. And sigh. Oh. We're going to put our right hand just underneath our elbow, just in front of us. We use our right hand to rock ourselves from side to side. All right? Just a gentle rock. Like you're rocking a baby carriage to sleep. Just a nice, gentle rock. You're just barely pushing. Your hips are moving. Maybe your knees and your ankles are moving together. But your neck is nice and calm, nice and supple. And you're just going from side to side. I forgot to start the timer in this one. So let's just say we have 40 seconds left. Keep them side to side. I got about. 10 seconds left. Just nice rock from side to side. Kind of finish up your rocks. And you're going to transition laying on your back. We're not going to be here very long, so don't get too comfortable. Go ahead and take those blankets and put them on the other side. We'll, we'll be using them in a second. And I want you to. Point and flex your feet with your heels on the ground, so hopefully you'll be able to move your body up and down your mat. Okay, so this should look just like this. All right, almost like you're standing on your tiptoes and coming back down, but obviously there's no ground right there. So we're just going up and down, up and down. Adjusting the microphone now. More notes. 
It's going to go right above the thing. I forgot about wearing this kind of shirt, but that's okay. Still going back and forth, pointing our toes and flexing our ankles. Sort of hop up and down on that. A little over halfway through. If you're young, you can do it right. <sighs> Down. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and finish up the last couple of those. And I want you to roll onto your side. And do the same thing we did before. Blankets in between our legs from ankle to knee. Alright. Then we're gonna give 60 seconds of this rocking from side to side. So we're going to lay on our side, our right side this time, with our left hand up, straight up in the air, give one round of breath. Let's go ahead and breathe it out together. Deep breath in. And sigh. <clears throat> For our left hand, we're their elbow. We're just going to rock from side to side. It's a nice, gentle rock. Again, forgot to start the timer here, so I'm going to make sure and call those out. Probably do a timer on the thing. Hopefully. Tend to rock from side to side. Remember, relax that neck, relax all your muscles. It's like you're rocking a baby to sleep. Very gentle. Side. Do you feel sleepy? Great. If you want to stay here and take a nap, do that. Almost done with our timer. Let's go ahead and finish up. Give yourself a rock or two. All right. And then we're going to come back, lay on our backs, oh, adjust the blanket in back if we want to, with the pillow. And just lay. I'll do one round of breath very slow. I'm going to chill out. Let's go soft inhale in. Inside. Oh. Stop for breath for three. Bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Give you one round of breath and exhale. Gonna roll to your right side. Exhale out. Big deep inhale in. Inside. Oh. Roll to your right side in the fetal position. Give yourself a breath, two or three breaths, and slowly come up into a seated position. Get up there, go ahead and grab a blanket, sit on, use, your, use that same pillow, same blanket pillow. Go ahead, sit up, more back. Okay, we're back. Next one's really good for grief. All right, we're going to do about nah, 60 seconds, about five times. Good. Going together. So we're going to sit up. Bring our hands behind our head. But we're not going to push on our head. We're just bringing our hands back there. So that means you not clasp your hands. Don't clasp your hands. You just need to put them back there because your arm, your arm mobility says no. That's cool. Just bring it back there. All right. Let's go and inhale in with your chest out. And then exhale, chin down, elbows together. Inhale back up. Bring those elbows out wide. Chest out, but not up. All right. We're not uh, arching our back here. We're just nice and straight. 
Let's go and exhale down. Let's go and inhale, elbows out. Neck nice and straight, chest up from the floor. And breathe out. Inhale in. Neck long, chin slightly tucked, so we're not bringing the chin up. We're just keeping the spine straight. And come back down. Two more. Inhale out. We we'll pause here a little bit. And exhale out. One more, even longer pause at the top. Inhale in. Chest up, chin tucked, spine straight, neck straight. And then breathe out. And unwind. Hands down to your sides. And just sit straight up and just let your body feel. Maybe you want to sway a little from side to side. Go and breathe out together. Slow, soft, deep belly breath in. And sigh. Oh. Now we're starting our shoulder rolls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my shoulder forward. Both of them, but I'm going to roll it like I'm on a Zoom call and I don't want everyone to know I'm rolling my shoulders forward, but I'm going to make the effort. So you might see it, you'll definitely feel it though, but just a barely shoulder roll. So not, not up. Just a shoulder roll, just a little bit forward. Like this, a little bit forward. See I'm just a little shrug. I'm fighting not to shrug. Make sure you're sitting straight up. Chest is up and out. Back is straight, not arched. The shoulders are still rolling. Then we're going to switch and we're going to do the other direction. So whatever direction you were going, just switch it. Now we're going to alternate shoulders going forward. Okay. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Push one round of breath. Exhale out. Deep inhale in and sigh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go and switch the directions. Let's go right back, left back, 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 right back, left back. And bring our hands up to our chest right here. 
So we have my rib cage. And we're going to twist just from side to side just until we feel our rib cage activate. Only a couple of inches. <sighs> side to side. And now let's go side to side this way, sway side to side. Keeping that spine nice and straight. We're going to start hip circles. We're going to keep our spine straight while we do them, so they're not going to be that pronounced. Either direction is fine. We'll be switching. Oh. Push another round of breath here. Just going to breathe out. So soft, deep breath in. And sigh. Oh. Switch direction in the hips. Nice little momentum take you. Try a nice circle. You're absolutely stirring a drink. You don't want to splash anything. You don't want to make any noise. You're just gently stirring from side to side around the cup. And you go around from side to side. So we're going to exhale out together. Big deep inhale in. And sigh. Oh. Make your way to standing position. Oh. And clear out your mat. This is the dancing song. Couldn't figure that out. All right. So we're going to not a dancer. I'm not. All right. So let's go ahead and start by lifting our knees up. This looks really funny because I'm listening to this music and it feels like I'm rocking out, but there's nothing going on in this room. It's just me talking to myself through a microphone, which just feels really strange while staring at myself on this monitor behind me. So, all right, so let's add an opposite arm to the leg. So opposite arms, so that means left and right, right and left. All right, just add a little bit. Here you go. Here you go. All right, let's reach up now. If you have a fan, make sure you're hit by the fan. Reach up. Up, we'll climb in the ladder a little bit. Climb in the ladder a little bit. Let's bring our arms out the side. Just move our hips side to side. Moving our hips from side to side. That's all we're doing. Maybe we're moving our arms too. You look like you're pressing, trying to impress a two-year-old. You're doing it correctly. Maybe you bring your arms up. Maybe you move your lips. Maybe you're just gyrating. Just bring your finger, bring it out. Bring it out. Just bring it out. We're doing hula hoops. We're doing the other way. If it's awkward, you're doing it good. Maybe we turn to our side. Do a little, little mini running man. We turn around and shake it. Finish it. One other one. Back, screw. Then we're going to do another way around. We're going to turn left this time. Keeping our arms up and down. Okay, now we're going to look around for a blanket. Now we're going to do this on your own. All right, 
And then we're going to do it on our own three times, and then we'll do three times together. What I want you to do is I want you to bend your knees like this. I want you to hold this up. And I want you to exhale, toss it down. All right, three times on your own. Go ahead and do that three times on your own. You do it with me. Down. Three, two, one, go. Just let it get sitting. Let it sit. Smooth. You reach out. Move your hands up. Remember, press the two-year-old. Little two-year-old in front of me. They're laughing and giggling. You're making them laugh. You don't know why. You don't know how. It doesn't matter. You're Jack Black. All right? Just move around. Okay, find your blanket again. And we're going to do on three, two, one, go. So we're going to do it together. We're going to do three of these. So three, two, one, throw. All right? So bring it up. Three, two, one, throw. Two more. Three, two, one, throw. Last one. Let's really sigh out this last one. Three, two, one, throw. Oh. Oh. All right, come back to your mat. Take that blanket you just threw down. Turn it into a pillow at the top. Take your other two blankets. Put them underneath you where your legs are going to go. Blow your nose if you need to. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And lay back on your pillow. And we're going to do a continuous breath, that bellows breath we talked about. We're going to do that now for 90 seconds again. So just lay right on your back. All right, and go. Oof. 90 seconds. Put bellows breath. We're filling out that belly and really moving the air through you. Don't worry so much about the breath itself and move about the movement in your body. Oh, in. Out. Oh. Oh. Maybe you sigh at the end. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Oh. 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 Way over halfway through, like 20 seconds left. Keep going. Oh. 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 Give me three more rounds. Oh. Oh. Bring it back to your regular breath. Oh. And we're going to do box breath here. So that's hold in for four, hold for five, exhale for six. We'll do four rounds of that. Listen to my cues. Let's go and exhale. Inhale. Three, two, one. Hold. Four, three. Two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one halfway through inhale three two one hold four three two one exhale five four three two one inhale three two one hold four three two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, 
And that's it. Come back to regular breath. Let's make our way to standing. I'm doing a stress reset from Human Garage. Let's come all the way up. All right, so we're going to take our right foot over our left foot. Take our right hand underneath our left armpit. Our left hand over. Turn our body to the right. Our head to the left. We're going to use our tongue to find a tight spot in our cheek. We're going to press out with our tongue and we're going to breathe in through our nose six times. Uh -huh. Inhale. Mm. Inhale. 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 Make sure your shoulders are down. You want to activate your Kegel muscles, activate your glutes. Why don't you bring your pelvis level? All right. Now we're going to do two rounds of sipping air in, three sips, and then hold and then breathe out, and then we'll forward at the end. So it'll sound like this. Go ahead and follow along. So sip in some air. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hold. And exhale. Breathe in some air. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hold. And exhale. Now four times. Inhale. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hold. And exhale. Again, tighten up that Kegel. Tighten up that lower pelvic floor. Let your shoulders down. Now we're going to find a spot in the wall and stare at it. We're going to inhale out of our mouth, inhale and through our nose, and exhale out of our mouth if we can for six. So it's inhale. 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 Two more. Inhale. Inhale. And we're gently unwind, keeping our arms and legs. Turn our body to the left and our head to the right. We're going to use that tongue to find a spot in our right side. And we're going to breathe into our nose six times. Inhale. 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 Bring those shoulders down. Tighten up that pelvic floor and those glutes. Nice level pelvis and abs. We're going to do the same. Three sips. Hold and breathe out. Three sips. Hold and breathe out. And then four sips. Hold and breathe out. Let's go ahead and inhale. 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 Hold. Exhale. <sighs> inhale. 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 Hold, and exhale. Three, four times. Inhale. 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 One more. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Find a spot anywhere over your shoulder. Stare at it. Inhale, and exhale six times. Inhale. 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 I want you to unwind. Very slowly bring your arms down. Uncross your legs. So move his hips around. Just a little jiggly. Same thing left side. So left foot over right foot. 
right arm on her right, left arm on his right armpit, right arm on left shoulder. Turn our body to the right, our head to the left. We're going to find a spot in our cheek. We're going to breathe into our nose six times. Inhale. 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 Bring our shoulders down, tighten the pelvic floor and glutes and abs. Stretch out our toes a little bit. We're going to do the three sips, three sips, four sips with the pause and the hold. Let's go ahead and sip some air. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hold. And exhale. Oh. Sip some air in. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hold. And exhale. Four times now. Inhale. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Hold. And exhale. Find a spot, any spot. Breathe into your nose, not through your mouth. Again, six times. Go inhale. 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 Things is five. Inhale. Last one. Inhale. Gently unwind. Bring your body to the left, your head to the right. Use your tongue to find a spot. We're going to breathe into our nose six times. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. I think this is four. Breathe in. Breathe in five. Breathe in six. And bring those shoulders down. Tighten up the pelvis, pelvic floor, kegel, hips, glutes. Do three sips, three sips, four sips. The pause and the breathe out. Let's go and sip some air in. A little more. A little more. And let it go. Breathe in. A little bit more. A little bit more. And exhale. Last one. Breathe in. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little more. And exhale. Oh. Find a spot over your right shoulder. Stare at it. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth six times. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Under slowly unwind, under your arms and your legs. You walk in a figure eight in front of you. So I walk to the left first, and then I turn to the right. I come back around left, and I come to the left, turn to the right, and around to the right here. Nice figure eight. Maybe one more pass. We're going to find our way to the mat. I'm going to use a blanket as a pillow right here. Actually, we're going to go to uh, feet together for 30 seconds, two to four inches away for 30 seconds. Then we're going to unweight the pelvis for 30 seconds, and we're going to knees bent. First flat. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right here. All right. So feet together. 30 seconds. Knees up a little bit. 30 seconds. Press on your hands and the sides of your feet. Gently unweight your pelvis. Not a full bridge, but gently unweight it from the ground. Just the effort's okay. 30 seconds. And then you're going to use your hands to bring your knees together and your pelvis back on the ground. And you're going to plant your feet and you're going to rest for this for 30 seconds. And that's it. You're going to lay just like this doing that. All right. Let's go and start it together. On feet together, knees apart, and 30 seconds go. 
Your hands can be on your hips, your pelvis, one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. It's up to you. I like my hands on the floor because I need some grounding at this point. Just breathe into it. Let your hips be where they need to be. Don't fight them. All right. Also, don't try and pull them down. Let's do one round of breath. Inhale, exhale out. Big deep inhale. And sigh. Oh, bring on knees about four inches closer together. You can use your hands if you'd like. Just a little bit. A right? little bit of tension in those thighs. All right. No more than that. Just a little bit of tension. Just holding this here. In your next action, you're going to plant your hands on the floor next to your hips. You're going to press off your hands in the sides of your feet and just unweight the pelvis from the ground. As long as your bones are pressing the ground, you're doing it correctly. It doesn't need to come off the ground. If that's in your practice, you can do that. Great. But the more you strain, the less effective this is going to be. All right. So do what your body allows you to do. All right. Just get that effort up. Like I'm maybe a half inch off the ground, maybe an inch, maybe barely. Your next exhale, gently lower your pelvis back to the ground. Use your hands on the outside of your thighs to bring your knees together and your feet flat on the floor. You're going to rest for 30 seconds. So that's the full set. There are two more of these, same four postures. <sighs> Next exhale, feet together, knees apart. Maybe it goes further, maybe it doesn't go as far this time, that's okay. Your hands resting on the floor, your pelvis, or your heart and stomach. Don't put, don't put them in your legs. Don't try and push this. This is not meant to be a stretch. Your body's just going to do what it needs to do. Stretching nuts for a different class. Save that for a different class. Next exhale, bring your knees about four inches closer together. Maybe a little bit more than less time. Maybe a little bit less. Okay, as long as you keep your feet together. That's the key right there. Should not be any pain. It might be a little bit uncomfortable in places, like just some weirdness, but no pain. So if you have any pain in your lower back or whatever else, let's do a modification. Raise your hand. Let's come over and let's talk. I got some ideas. I guess you can't really do that, but whatever. Just imagine that I'm over there helping. Next exhale, you're going to plant your hands on the floor. You're going to press off the sides of your feet and gently unweight that pelvis from the ground. Again, it does not need to actually be off the ground as long as your bones aren't pressing the ground you're doing it right. We're going to breathe out. Slow, stop, deep belly breath in. Then side out. Next exhale, gently lower your pelvis back to the ground. Use your hands on the outside of your legs to bring your knees together. Feet flat on the floor and just rest. Your knees together, knees apart. Just rest. Just two rounds. We're going to do our third one here in a second. Last round, feet together, knees apart. Go ahead and breathe out together. Deep breath in. And bells it out. Big sigh. Next exhale, keeping the feet together, bring those knees together a little bit. Maybe a little, might, there might be a little shaking this time. That's okay. It's going to breathe out together. Deep belly breath in. And sigh. Oh, that's just the tightness and the unexpressed emotion that's stuck in your legs. A lot of times it happens in our legs because that's our fight or flight muscle, our psoas muscle. Um, that's why it gets stuck in a lot of times. That's why your legs uh, get, always get weird. 
Next exhale, plant your hands on the floor, push off the sides of your feet and gently raise that pelvis off the ground. Maybe you go a little bit further this time. Maybe you go less. All right. It's up to you. We're not straining though. Anything less than straining is fine. All right. So we're going to breathe out together. Deep, slow, soft belly breath in. The biggest sigh of the day. That felt good, didn't it? Your next exhale, gently lower your pelvis back to the ground. Use your hands on the outside of your legs. Bring your knees together and just rest, either knees bent or legs straight. Maybe spread eagle with your legs apart and your arms apart. Pick up all the space that you want, all the space that you need. You deserve it just for being here. <sighs> you can yawn like me, that's cool too. Mm. Just one minute of breath together, breathe out, deep breath in, and sigh. Let's oh. your knees towards your chest. Give yourself one to three deep breaths as you squeeze yourself. And the exhale, the last one, roll to your right side. Into a fetal position. Just one round of breath here together. Go ahead and breathe out. Deep belly breath in. And sigh. Give yourself a breath or three. Push yourself up. Take that blanket you're just using as a pillow. You put it right underneath our pelvis, so right here, right there. And then lay down on top of it and for about 60 seconds. Loose and wag our hips from side to side. All right. So go ahead and put your head down. I'll tell you when you're halfway through so you can sit on either side of your face if you want. And just hip side to side. Nice, nice, gentle side to side. I can't really lay like that because I'm going to crush my microphone. So whoops, sorry about that. So nice side to side. Ooh. Wag those hips. We're halfway through. You want to switch your face to the other side. You want to adjust something, now's a good time. Almost done. Go ahead and finish up the wag. Way down. One round of breath. Exhale out. Big deep inhale in. Inside. Push yourself into a seated position. Now get into your favorite Sarvasana position. I will show you mine. I put a blanket down here. Actually, I'm going to put a blanket down first. I'm going to put it vertically, just like this. Like that. I'm going to put one at the top right here as a pillow. I'm going to take the other two blankets. I'm going to put them down here underneath. And then I'm going to arrange myself right over here. I got ready for Shavasana. And I'm going to have to adjust that because that's not going to work. So I'm going to do a T instead, which is great. All right, so before we sit down, we're going to sit up. We're going to right hand our belly, the left hand behind our sacrum, back nice and straight. Let's go and exhale out together. Big deep inhale in and sigh. Oh. Left hand on your chest, shoulders back and down, chin slightly tucked, spine nice and straight. Go and exhale out together. Big deep inhale in and sigh. Oh. Just take a couple breaths. Let your body feel. 
Let your body feel full of jelly and soothe and warmth and love and happiness. Oh. You can yawn if you need to. Just sort of sway from side to side. I like to hold on to my legs. Then we finish up with that. And we're going to arrange our blankets so we can lay back down. We're going to put our blanket back on here. And we're going to find out that the pillow is not big enough, so that's cool. We're just going to fold it in half. And we get ready for Savasana. And Savasana.
start to deepen our breath, a little more intentional inhale, a little more intentional exhale as we come back to our bodies. Let ourselves drop back in, very gentle. After two or three breaths, maybe start to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. Once those work, maybe roll our wrists and our roll our ankles. We flex our elbows and we flex our knees, turn our head from side to side, check in with our hips and our shoulders, make sure they work. Maybe give ourselves a nice big stretch as we reach toward the ceiling or behind us or to our sides, whatever we want to do. Nice big yawn. We bend our knees, feet flat on the floor. We windshield wipe a little bit. We feel all complete. Your knees towards our chest. Give ourselves a nice big squeeze. And then exhale out together. Nice deep inhale in. And a long let go sigh. Oh, and roll to our right side. Give ourselves two or three breaths here. No rush. More if you need it. Now push yourselves up to see your position. You have a blanket to sit on. Cross those legs. One hand on our belly, one left back on our sacrum. Nice back and straight. It's going to be out together. Deep breath in. And sigh. Oh, left hand on our heart space. Shoulders back and down. Exhale out. Big deep inhale in. Switch our arms out to our side, close our eyes, bring our hands together, fingers apart, thumbs to our heart space. And we're going to do a variation of the chakra. This is the beginning, it's a call and response. So I'll say it, then we can say it together. Just going to breathe out together. A little soft breath in. I am myself. I am myself. I feel myself. I feel myself. I will myself. I will myself. I love myself. I love myself. I speak myself. I speak myself. I see myself. I see myself. I know myself. I know myself. Fingers together, thumbs to your third eye, bow your head to your heart, each you every other person in your life. The light in me recognizes light into every one of you. Namaste. Thank you. Please be very gentle and kind with yourself tonight. Sometimes emotional releases, any sort of trauma releases can happen when you least expect it. The longest that's going to last is 90 seconds. All right. If you let yourself feel the emotion and feel the whatever, irritability, sadness, grief, joy, sometimes 90 seconds. Let yourself feel it. Give yourself that grace. Give yourself that 90 seconds, that little two minutes. Go into the bathroom. Sit and just let yourself feel. Turn the water on if you want. Just let yourself feel. All right? Anything beyond 90 seconds is our brains are going to keep everything going. So give yourself 90 seconds to feel. It will release and you will feel better. So if you have a reaction that's uh, an emotional reaction that maybe is out of place with what you're doing, just recognize that maybe it's time for you to release and go ahead and please feel free to do that. All right? Drink a lot of water. Epsom salt bath is always good. I appreciate it. And have a great rest of your day while I listen to the rest of Lightning Crashes as we close this out. So thank you very much. Again, my name is Tyler Hurst. Website is microdose.yoga. Uh, the Instagram is uh, microdoseyogaaz. I offer in-person classes using plant medicine. I offer a trauma release in-person class on Fridays at 4.30 from 5.30 to 4.30, 5.35 p.m. And I also offer... Um, a low dose lounge uh, once a month, along with full plant medicine ceremonies, all in person, all here in Phoenix. 
you have any questions about psychedelics for uh, complex PTSD or other sort of trauma release, let me know. Uh, and you've been great. And I really, really, really appreciate you listening. So thank you all very much. And I hope it's recorded because this is my first one. And I'm a little nervous that it didn't, but I feel like I did pretty good. So anyway, thank you. Namaste. Namaste.